Man, it's been a long time since I've made an Emacs video. So uh, today I'm thinking about uh, spell checking and correcting typos. And I went back and found an old blog post from the wonderful Endless Parentheses blog. And I grabbed this code um, that I had sort of bookmarked uh, for later inspection. And I've dropped this code into my Emacs configuration. And I wanted to give it a try today. So uh, I'm not going to show all this code right now, but I'll put a link to the blog post with this video. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type out some text. All right, so I've typed uh, some text out here, but uh, in the process, I've misspelled a word. Um, this is a word that I seem to misspell about 75% of the time. Um, and um, using just built-in Emacs stuff, I can press uh, control and semicolon to uh, just automatically correct that. It goes back and finds the first word that it can identify as a misspelling, and it tries a, a replacement. And it you can actually cycle through replacements, uh, but it actually got it right on the, the first try, so that's the, the one that I want. But um, that's just built-in Emacs stuff. That's... Um, that's nothing special. So next, I want to, um, I'm going to, I've reverted that, and now I'm going to try this new key binding that's introduced by this code over on the right. Uh, it's Control X, Control I, and it has once again gone back and found the first misspelled word, and it's brought up the standard Emacs uh, list of suggestions, and I'm going to select zero. And then you can see that there's now a message down here, um, INTILZ now expands to initialize globally. So what does that mean? Well, let's try this. Um, we're going to try and type this again. First, we... <laughs> I'm trying to misspell it the same way again. There we go. You see that? It automatically corrected. So what this code adds is not only, so it hooks into the standard Emacs spelling correction system, but then once you've corrected the spelling, it takes that correction and it enters it into the global uh, abbrev mode uh, dictionary. So next time when I type that, it just auto-corrects itself. And I think that's kind of cool.